Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and today I want to cover the basics of sketching in UMake. When you first open up a new project, you'll land in the UMake editor and you'll land on something that looks like this. You'll have a grid, your axes, and the interface around the edges. This white area where the grid is, is known as your canvas. Now, UMake lets you sketch or model in 3D space. So, whatever you draw or create exists in a 3D environment. To help make this process of creating easier, we have set up a set of standardized views which you can access in the upper right hand corner. By default, when you open up a new file, you are in the front view, but you also have the back view, the right view, the left view, the top view, bottom view, and the view all. The view all feature will become more apparent and useful the more you create in human. I'm going to go back to the front view to start sketching. To create a line or a curve in UMake, simply draw just like you would in any other application or on a piece of paper. You can do it with a stylus or you can use your finger to create curves as well. By default, the curves that you create are in what we call precision mode. These are also known as NURBS curves. NURBS curves are made up of a section, selection of points that are plotted on a graph in the Cartesian uh, planes. In addition, they have lines between them that are also known as holes. I know this is a lot of technical jargon, you don't really need to know it, but what you should know is that these NURBS curves are heavily used in the industrial design field, and if you export files created in UMake, these curves will translate into other applications that you use, such as Alias, Rhino, Maya, uh, moment of inspiration, etc. So enough about that. Now, when you create a curve, by default, when you first open up you make the curves are black. If you want to change the color, you can come up to your tools in the top menu here, and you have the ability to change the color, to change the size, and so from there, you can have, make a nice blue curve, and you can also, if you select a curve by double tapping on it, you can retroactively change the size or even the color. Another cool feature within UMake is the autocorrect feature. Now, when you're drawing NURBS curves, UMake assumes that you're trying to make precision shapes that are relatively smooth. If I draw an arc, for example, UMake is going to try and correct that arc. If I draw a circle, it's going to assume that I'm drawing a circle and it's going to correct my circle to make it a perfect geometric circle. And the same thing goes for a square. If I don't want any of these perfect geometric shapes, I simply can tap the undo button down above the orbit button here. That is the shape I drew. And if I tap it one more time, that shape will be gone. Same thing for the circle. That's actually the circle I drew that was corrected. And so sometimes this can be helpful because you make may assume that you're trying to draw something that you're actually not. So simply tapping undo once will return it to the shape that you intended to draw. Now, if I did want the perfect circle, I can tap the redo function and I can get my circle back. We've covered the NURBS feature and the smoothing feature, but there's one other way to sketch in UMake. If you're just looking to sketch a rough, quick sketch that without any precision and without any ability to edit the curves, you can toggle on the freestyle mode. The freestyle mode exists under the pen or pencil tool, and when you toggle it on by tapping freestyle, this makes the lines that you sketch non-NURBS, they're basically just what we call a polyline. This is if you want to sketch something really rough and not have any control over it. Uh, to, to change it or to modify it. It works if, for example, I'm going to reduce the size here. If you want to do a rough sketch of something that you're just trying to figure out what the shape of it should be. That's pretty much the basics of sketching within UMake. If you have any questions or comments for us, feel free to let us know. 
We're going to have a lot more tutorials covering more advanced features, but we're trying to keep these tutorials relatively short for now so that you can follow along easily and at your own pace. We hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any feedback, let us know on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram pages. We hope you have a great day. Happy creating and happy you making. Thank you.